Hello and welcome to Coding Demos. In this Firebase series, what you will learn in this tutorial is how you can verify the user email address when they register with your app. Okay, let me give you a demo of the function that you're going to build in this tutorial. So you can see here in this, in the emulator, I have, I'm inside the main activity. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to register a new account. So let me key in my email address and the password. Now, once I click on the sign up button, a toast message will appear saying that this email address is already in use. Okay, let me just delete that. Seems that I've used that email address previously. So let me just delete this email address. Okay, so let's go back to the Android Studio and the emulator. Now let me click on the sign up button. It should show a toast message saying that the user is re-registered. Please verify your email address. Which means that the app will send an email address. So we'll send an email to this email address. And inside the email, it will ask you to verify your email before you can log into the app. Now let me open up my email address and let me show you the, the email that was sent by Firebase. Okay, this, this is the email address. So I'm asked to click on this link in order to verify my account. So once I click on this link, now it will send me to another page saying that your email has been verified. You can now sign in with your new account. So if I go back to the app, and I click on the login, I key in this email address and password, click on the login. Now it should direct me to the profile page, which is the sign out here, which is the email address and a sign up button. Now if let's say, let's say you have added the email address, right? and you haven't yet clicked on the this link that was sent to you by Firebase if you haven't yet clicked on the link and you try to log in then you should you are not allowed to access the profile page unless you verify your email address so let me show you that okay let me just delete this email you know what let me just uh, go back to the project again delete this new email address that I've just registered with okay it's loading alright so let me just let me delete this I'm gonna repeat the same process but this time I'm not gonna click on the link that was sent from Firebase so let go let's go to the, the emulator and they key in the same email address and the password now click on the sign up. Now I, sh I should be able to sign up with this email. That's good. As you can see the toast message. Now when I go to the login page, click on the login button, I key in that email address. But you can see right, I haven't yet verified my email address. So if I click on the login button, now it shouldn't allow me to access. See, it says that please verify your email address. That's basically a demo, and that's what we're going to build in this tutorial. All right. Now, let's go back to the our project here inside Android Studio. And the first thing that we need to do is we need to modify the code inside the sign up button because previously it was only sending, sorry, it was only registering the user. But in this case, we want to register the user and we need to send an email to that user to allow them to verify the email address. So we're going to do two things inside this sign on, sign on is the sign up block. And to get the code for the, the mail verification, all you have to do is go back to your browser, open up the, the Firebase project, click on the go to docs, and then click on Android. And you scroll down a bit, and under the authentication tab, click on the arrow here and then 
uh, click on the manage users scroll down a bit until you see the the send a user verification mail so this is the code that we're going to use for this tutorial now let's go back to the uh, our project here and inside the the set on click listener for the sign up button inside the task was successful which is this here what we're going to do is we're going to do firebase auth dot get current user and then we're going to send the email by calling this an email verification after that we're going to attach add on complete listener and I'm going to do new on complete listener so what we're going to while we're doing the on complete listener this will give us access to this task here this task will actually help us determine whether this operation was successful or not now inside the on complete method here what we're going to do is we're going to copy this code let me cut this and let me paste it inside here so if and before that we need to check whether the task was successful or not meaning that the email the email verification was actually sent to that user so if the task is successful okay let me move this code inside that if condition if the task was successful we're going to show a toast message saying that it was just successfully and then please check your email for verification okay and I'm going to clear the email and password edit text to make them empty now if the task was successful do this operation show a toast message and if the task wasn't successful I'm going to show a toast message and then inside that toast message will have a message that whatever firebase sent to our app so let me delete this okay and i'm going to use task that get exception dot get message okay so what we did right here let me repeat this with you guys inside the sign up block here First, we are registering the user with their email address and password. Nothing new around here. And inside the on complete, we're checking if the task was successful. Once the task was successful, then we call the Firebase auth and we send an email verification to the current user. Now you might be wondering why we're, ha we're having this uh, this error here, this warning says that it's, this may produce a null point exception. For now, I'm using this code and it doesn't show any, it doesn't show any null point exception. So you may ignore that. Now, once you call the send email verification, it basically means that you're sending the email to this current user and inside the on complete, the first thing you do is you check if the task was successful, means that the email was send successfully to that user that's where we're going to show a toast message saying that this user is registered successfully please check your email address for verification now in case the task wasn't successful we're going to show a toast message like this and inside that message we will show whatever message that firebase sends to us Okay, so let's give this a run. Let me show you how that looks like inside the emulator. So I'm going to click on the run button and click OK and let's wait for the build to complete. Okay, so build is complete. Now the first thing we need to do is we need to key in our email address and password. Now I'm going to click on the sign up button. It's loading, it's loading. Okay, registered successfully. Please check your email for, for verification. So far, so good. Now let me open up the my email 
and show you the email that was sent from Firebase. Okay, this is the email address that was sent from uh, from Firebase, and they're asking me to tap on this link in order to verify my email. Now, before tapping on this link, let me try to log in with this email address, which is isn't yet verified. So go back to the Android Studio and the emulator, click on the login button, and let me key in this email address and password. So when I click on login, it should be should sorry. Okay, click on the login button. I accidentally clicked on the back button. So when I click on the login button, it gives still gives me access to the app. Now what I want to do is if the user isn't yet verified, meaning that they haven't yet tapped on the link that was sent to them, this they haven't yet tapped on this link, then I shouldn't allow them to access the app. I should prompt them a message saying that, that they need to verify their email address before logging into the app. So, and that's what we're going to work on right now. So if I click on the sign up button, now if we go back to this email and I click on the link to verify my email address, I should get the message that's saying your email has been verified and you can now sign in with your new account. Let's give this a try. Go back to the emulator, click on the login, and let me key in the same email address just to check and if it works. Now click on the login button. Okay, now it should allow me to log in, but once we uh, prevent the, the non verified user from logging in, we can see the the actual behavior. So let's work on that right now. Now go back to the the project and open up the login activity because what we're gonna do is if you go back to the emulator you click on the login button and inside this form here if the user clicks on the login button and the email wasn't verified then we show a toast message. So let's do it right now. So user login that's it on click listener that's the that's where we're gonna work on. So inside the on click, and here we're checking. Sorry, here we are sending. We're we are signing in the user with the email and password. And inside this condition, where we're checking if the task was successful, means that the user can successfully sign in. Is where we're going to check if this user has actually verified their email address. And to do that we'll do another F condition so if firebase auth dot we want to get the current user and we want to check if this current user is actually has actually verified their email address if it's true if they did verify their email address what we're gonna do is copy this line cut paste it here so if the email of, of if the currently logged in user email was successfully verified then please send this user to the profile activity now if the user wasn't verified we're gonna show a toast message copy this paste it right here and I'm going to cop delete this message and I'm gonna say please verify your email address okay so we're checking if the task was successful the user can sign in then we want to check if the user email was verified if it is verified send the user to the profile activity which means that they can access the profile page if it wasn't verified then we're showing a toast message saying that please verify your email address okay now it's so far so good let me just run the app and see and see how it looks like so I'll click on the run button click OK and let's wait for the build to complete okay so build is complete now what we're gonna do is first we need to register the user so before we do that let me go back to the Firebase project and let me delete let me delete the user. 
So let me delete this account, delete account, delete. And it's deleted successfully. Go back to Android Studio and the emulator. Now I'm going to key in the same email address and the password. Now click on the sign up button. Okay, registered successfully. Please check your email. Now go back to the login page. Click on the login. Now you can see I haven't yet verified my email address. I'm going to log in with that email address and see how the behavior is. So password, click on the login and it says please verify your email address and that's exactly what we want. We don't want anyone to log in unless they verify the email address. So now let me go back to the uh, to my email and verify my email address. Okay, so this is the email address. Sorry, this is the email I got from Firebase. Now if I click on the link to verify, and it says your email has been verified. That's good. Go back to Android Studio and the emulator. Now click on the login button. Now okay, that's good. I'm able to log in successfully. Now sign out. And so far so good. Now there is one scenario that we need to, uh, or case that we need to handle, whereby, okay, let me go back to the Firebase project. Let me delete this user, and I'm going to register that user again. And let me show you uh, some sort of a like a a way for the user to log in without verifying the email address. So let me delete this account and let me go back to the emulator. I'm going to register the same user and click on sign up. Okay, it says that registered successfully, so far so good. Click on the login. Now if I click on the login key in their email address which we haven't yet verified click on the login by now it should show a toast message please verify your email address now if you try to quit the app right and you go back and open up again you'll see what happens boom we can actually log in we're actually inside the profile page and we don't want that to happen we only want the users who have actually verified their email address to be able to sign in and access their profile page. Now the reason why this thing happened is because if you go back to the Android Studio and open up the home which is the first uh, class where what we're, what we're doing here is we're checking if the user is currently logged in and we're sending this user to the profile activity but what we're checking here is only if the user is logged in which means the user is active the user have session an active session with the app then you send the user to the profile activity now we're not checking if the user is actually verified and that's what we're going to do so first we're checking if the email if the user is active and we need to check if oops, we need to check fire fire base. We need to check if this user email is verified. So two things now we need to check: if the user is active, which means that they have they can actually log into the app, they have an active session, and this user email is verified. Then we're going to send the user to the profile activity. Okay, now let's give this a run. And we, let's wait for it to build. Okay, so build is complete. Now, let me click on the login button. And then, oops, let me key in my email address. Click on the login. Okay, please verify your email address. 
Right now we haven't yet verified our email address. Let me close the app and let me open up again. And you can see, right, we first checked if the user is not active. So if the user uh, is active and if this user email is verified, that's where we send them to the profile activity, which is in our case, the user was active, that's true, but the email address wasn't verified, so we're sending them to the main activity right here. Now, if we go back to our email address, our email, and let me verify that address. Okay, so this is the email. Now, let me click on this link and verify the email address. Okay, so far so good. Email is verified. Go back to Android Studio and the emulator. Click on the login button. Now, we will log in with the email and password. Click on the login. It should give us access to the app. So far, so good. Now, if we exit the app and open up again, and we can access the app. Why? Because the the user is active, which means that he has the current user is still active with the app. He haven't yet logged out, and the user email is verified. That's why we give him access to the profile activity. And that's the result that you can see right here. Okay, so that's basically it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Do give it a thumbs up and do subscribe to the channel for more great tutorials. Thank you again for watching and happy coding.